Can anyone guess where I am today? Hello there. It's just gone half past six. It's a Sunday morning. It's very wet. And the sun is just blinding me at the minute because it's just peeking over the horizon. And if you can see my hand making dinosaur shapes over my eyeball, I'm going to do a dead arty farty video. Woohoo! <laughs> but no, today we're on the road to go and pick up something that's going to, uh, it's definitely going to change the old uh, YouTube videos. It's definitely going to make them a bit more, a uh, bit more interesting. So, just got to finish, or just going to take my uh, my cup of coffee, my blueberry muffin, pancake, donut, blueberry something, and then. We're going on an adventure. 20 minutes later. <sighs> Fingers crossed this is a smooth boat ride. Gotta love boats. He's picking up all these hints, these Boaty McBoatface hints. Ah. A few moments later. So, by now you've probably picked up on the whole uh, hints. And if you're completely daft, you'll have probably seen the thumbnail for this video. What started a couple of weeks ago was me liking a post on the old Facebook. Has turned into... The biggest purchase of my life, besides buying a house. I'm going across to Scotland to buy a boat. There was a, a fella was selling, uh, posted his, it's a Predator 160, and there is a 70 horse Yamaha outboard on the back end of it. The, the price was too good to pass up. Basically, the price purely it. Um, not that I've got the money lying around, you know, under the mattress or anything. It's 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 a loan. I'm going to be honest. We're going to be paying for it for a few years. But I figure we're only here for the once, so I may as well uh, grab life by the balls and take advantage. Basically, the outboard on the boat, outboard for the boat is a 2022 bought in 2023 it's only got 60 hours on it so basically i've got a brand new outboard with a boat attached that being said the boat isn't in well for the pictures i was looking at the boat is in pretty good shape it's been very very well looked after obviously when i go here to see it when i get off the boat here if there's like very obvious flaws, well then, I'm not buying a boat. However, the fella selling it, you know, any questions I've asked him, he's come back to me, he's honest as the day is long, he's explained, this is what the boat is. He sent me pictures, pictures of uh, little dings and knocks and scrapes and scratches. He says, this is everything I can see that's wrong with it. You know, it's to the point where he even bought uh, a, a set of replacement bearings for the trailer for me. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the uh, with the boat that I, that's been that's been sold to me. But it's been it's been a strange fortnight. It's basically been a fortnight since this whole thing happened. I seen it on Facebook, as I said, and I asked him, you know, where are you located in the world? He goes, oh, Scotland. And I'm like, oh, okay, fair enough. And as soon as I posted the picture, posted the, the comment on on Facebook. He, he reached out and he goes, look, this is the story, this is the boat, blah, 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 blah. And I kind of, something in the back of my head went, you know, go for it. Go for it, Scobes. So, I spoke to the wife. Uh, 
that conversation went about as well as you could expect to tell my tell the wife that hey I'm gonna take a loan out and spend 10 grand in a boat I got the uh, the are you fucking mental look but no I basically showed her the boat I explained that it's not purely just for fishing I mean it's it can be used for like a like like days out as well okay purely it's gonna be a fishing boat but have I said that there will be occasions for uh, going out in the summertime you know pull up to a little island somewhere have a bit of a picnic family stuff you'll know, do the good stuff because of the boat's uh, design there's also going to be the opportunity to do some shark fishing again I've done shark fishing in a while just showing you uh, Northern Ireland for the, for the time being back that way is Belfast over there is Larne and in about an hour and a half I should be docking and, and Cairn Ryan and then it'll be a short trip to meet with the fella inspect the boat exchange pennies hook up the boat to the van and come back hopefully getting on the nearest boat as I can fortunately I've picked a good week it's international football weekend so that means that there's no uh, no football fans in the boat which means that the shops are open <laughs> the bars are open not that I'm going to be drinking at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning but I'm just out having a walk I've been up since 5 in the morning drove to Belfast docks and now I'm on the boat going to Scotland so let's see how today goes just then Oh, flower of Scotland, when will I see this boat again? of security.
ta 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 These seats will come out, plenty of room, cabin, stainless, love it. And we're back in Northern Ireland. Now, I just have to get down the road to Omer. And then we get a proper look at the uh, boat. So, here we go, we have the boat back at uh, my house, just going to prop you up there and hope you don't fall over. Um, I have to say, bringing it back down the road was easy enough, she was happily sitting at 55 mile an hour, been towed the whole way down. Um, there was one small point that scared the shit out of me, which was the... Uh, the brakes on the trailer. The brakes are designed so that when you slow down, you'll hear like a thud. That's the trailer kicking in its brake to slow down the boat. Well, getting off the boat in Belfast, uh, literally a guy cut me up and had to put the brakes on very quickly. And I heard it was this thud, and I'm thinking, ah, oh, fuck. I initially thought, did the boat pop off the, on the, the tow hitch? No, it didn't. It didn't pop off the tow hitch. They've got quite a good security chain on it. Uh, it wasn't, it's not going anywhere. So getting it back down to Oma was, besides the one incident in Belfast, but that's Belfast. I don't think people in Belfast drive with their eyes open. For the most part. The wife is coming around to the, the idea of having a, a bigger boat. Um, like I say, there's there's some stuff that I'm going to have to do with this um, boat off the bat. Um, insurance is one. Um, little things like get a spare tire, spare spare tire, spare wheel. Get that mounted on the back of the trailer. Get a license plate board because the one I have is about that much too short. So I'm going to need to get one. But I was chatting to one of my friends and he suggested getting Bluetooth marine lights that permanently fix to the back of your trailer and are connected to the back of your, uh, your van by a dongle. So that when you break, they break. When you indicate, they indicate. Um, that sounds like something I would be very interested in getting. I haven't put the, the cover on the boat. Mainly because I got back and driving and ferry and ferry going like this here for... You know, how do we sit down? The... The wife treated me to a happy birthday Chinese. So, as birthday presents go, I have been spoiled rotten today. I've bought myself a new boat and I have had a Chinese. Everything's good. Everything is good. Let me show you what else I'd probably do with the boat. Or probably will do really quickly. Um, this strap's going to get replaced. It's just going to get replaced. It's 
you can see in there the little clip it's gone but it's chained you know it's chained down so it's not going to go anywhere but again there's some loose straps or some loose bits and pieces uh, it's going to get I have new new ratchet straps um, this is what I had to do with the the uh, to get the lights to get them home I had to use some cable ties and get the blue peter out these chairs um, these chairs will come out I have new chairs sitting that will be able to spin around so that when you anchor up the fronts in the anchor you can spin around and watch your watch your uh, rods these rails are going to get rail blazer rod rests um, auxiliary motor I have a four horse that's going to go on here that's going to be more than enough to fit on here um, the guy that owned it was pretty adamant that he didn't really want to start drilling through the transom so this is epoxied a big lump of plastic or a big lump of wood that's been epoxied to the, the back of the boat and this is his fish finder I've been looking at fish finders um, 1400 pounds so far for fish finders it's a bit it's a bit much but that's the going rate that's the one I'm looking at it's 1400 pound uh, 70 horse Yamaha with 60 hours on it and all the other all the other bits and pieces um, this is going to be put on the market it's going to be put up for sale I don't really have the time between work and family I need to put a new floor on it but all the lockers and aluminium lockers are there the seats there everything's there ready to rock and roll for it so I might just sell it as a project just to get it off the drive and have some more space for the boat so I can put the boat right back to the garage that way when I have the batteries in the boat I can have them charging from the garage I can have an Anderson flip right the way into the back of the boat and I'll have <sighs> I have that, but I have to sort that boat out. <sighs> Been a long day. Been a long day. <sighs> so, new boat. This summer, I will turn this thing into how I want it. I'm hoping to get her out next weekend on the water. I'm going to have to speak to some of my friends because I've got a couple of friends of mine that are you know saying that they'll they're wanting to kind of come out and get on the get on the water with me so again I'll be I'll be pilfering all their knowledge to get make sure that I ain't doing anything fucking stupid because it's me the chances of doing something fucking stupid are up there you know like like on a whim getting a bank loan and buying a boat and our trips. I will see you all later.